Hey y'all, my name is Brent Strandy and I'm the owner of the Train Car Cigar Bar here in Big Spring, Texas. And I'm David, I'm a Texan and I love cigars. Enjoy the show. There's something magical about the railroad. I've been captivated by trains ever since I was a boy. Growing up, my papa kept a miniature train set in his attic, which of course was my first stop when visiting. I even credit my papa for introducing me to cigars. Don't worry, this one wasn't lit. Well, you can imagine my excitement to visit Train Car Cigar Bar in the West Texas town of Big Spring. Housed in a complex of actual train cars, the rail cars of Train Car Cigar Bar may be stationary, but they're still bringing people together from all over Texas. The conductors of Train Car Cigar Bar are Brent and his wife Camilla, who founded it in 2016. Boasting a Texas-sized patio and an inviting smoking lounge appropriately called the Lounge Car, I must admit, we're not the first camera crew to be intrigued enough to pay a visit to this unique shop, but we'll touch on that more in a bit. I stopped by Train Car Cigar Bar to pay Brent a visit and take a tour. And oh, of course we smoke cigars. Brent! That, hey, David, how you doing? I'm good, man. Welcome to the train car. Thank you, sir. Man, good to welcome. see you. Welcome. Man, to this you. is fantastic. Thank you so much. Man, this you is... got a crowd going on. What's going on? So the Iron Freedom Foundation, it's a nonprofit for veterans, is okay. uh, putting together a cornhole tournament that raises funds for the different activities that they do for veterans uh, to foster a lifestyle that they oh, can, or cool. lifestyle activities they can do, uh, kayaking, fly fishing, things like that. So they Looks put like some of these boys are pretty good. They're, they're... I mean, this is a great patio. I mean, I mean, picnic tables all around. You got a great covered area over there. I mean, uh, this looks like a, a stage for where a band would play. Oh yeah. So uh, normally Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights we have live music. Uh, okay. March through October ish. All the good weather. Once it's cold, it's really hard to yeah. get music. Their fingers freeze up in that <laughs> guitar. But a little hard to play yeah, when it's like that. Yeah. Exactly. But it's a great stage. We built it in two stages little bit of a pun there but uh <laughs> as we kept growing the business yeah and uh just have a great downtown experience i mean look Spring, at Texas. it yeah I mean, you got i so. mean this is a big competition going on but you've got i mean they're just comfortably sitting around everywhere um what was big spring founded on there was a web air force base here so it okay. was it was a hopping town back in the day and so okay. i think they exceeded fifty thousand in population at one point okay we're, we're the crossroads of west texas with 87 north south and i-20 east west okay so. All right. right. Halfway right between El Paso and Dallas. Easy stop. Yeah, this is, yeah, it was, it was an, it was an easy drive for us out here, but I mean, this is a place that we've been looking forward to coming out here. So you're calling this the bar car. Yes, sir. So yeah, I am seeing some drinks in there. That's right. We do have a full selection of liquor, beer, and wine. We look, okay, so nice. We are a mixed beverage, or we were a mixed beverage. We're now a food and beverage. There you, oh, We've nice. got uh, Lavash. The Lavash is a Mediterranean, uh, Armenian, actually. I have a, a bit Armenian heritage. Okay. So uh, where I came from up north, that was a little bit more common, this meal. Okay. Uh, and so it's a flat cracker bread with Havarti cheese and then different toppings run through a pizza oven. Okay. No sauce, but it's it's delicious. Oh, wow. So. Sounds sounds great. I love uh, any anything... You know, it's always neat when you go to a certain area and you, you try to eat some of the food that's like native to that's that area. Right. It's always so. fine. And then when you had something and you bring it. I brought it down. So down I've never heard of it. Most people around here had never heard of it. So that was kind of fun that yeah. one of the things we've tried to do is be different than any other place in town. I mean, the cigars already do I that. Mean, yeah. But um, the train car. Our music, the, the music um, is, uh, we don't play any country music through our speakers. And I love country music, but I don't listen to it at work. Okay. Most of our live music, we're in West Texas. That's, right. That's the bands that mostly play, but we've had blues and rock and whatnot. Okay. Okay. But to differentiate ourselves and to set the tone and that you can go anywhere else in here that get a different feel, a different environment. Okay. Very nice. So we've got bar over here and I, I mean, I can't miss, uh, We've got a few cigars in here. This is the reason we're here, this right is, here. Yes, so. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, we started out with just two of these cabinets. Two. We're up to five now, which has right. been a fun thing. And so when we opened, it was pretty fun. Uh, 
a good friend of mine and a good customer, Denver. We, we weren't friends at the time. We become friends with the yeah, shop. Yeah. He, he was our first Yelp review, and I found the picture of it. He's. We've looked at that, and we kind of laugh. I had the two cabinets, and I had <gasps> Crown Heads, Arturo Fuente, and Leaf by Oscar. Other cigars <laughs> were on the way, but that's all I had in the humidors. Wow. And I had maybe a half dozen little Zycar five count travel cases. Uh huh. And instead of keeping them in a case, we put them in the humidor and we spaced them out on the shelves, trying to not look so empty as we were getting started. <laughs> and yeah, I thought, right. how am I ever going to fill these humidors? And now I can't get all the cigars displayed. I have to rotate what we sell because I have more cigars than we have space for in our humidors now. Wow. From the boutique side, things like Tatuaje, uh, Roma Craft, we've got Warped, we've got Illusion. Uh, nice. Aganorsa, HVC, right. And then we'll do the you know the mid size, but I'd still call them closer to boutique. But like yeah. LFD, I mean yeah, yeah, that's sure. A great brand. Uh, we're a huge Roma Craft House. We uh, started out with seven facings. We now have every single facing of uh, the core line of Roma Craft. Okay, which has been pretty fun to have. Yeah, so another great uh, you know Texas so. cigar company. We got those. some sakas up there. Oh, we do. Oh, I nice. love them so. <laughs> no, great Back. stuff and so. Ah, uh, you've got the Check this out. So I'm waiting on my big one. I better qualify for it here. But ah. the Saka Squatch here, Steve signed that for our second anniversary. We actually had a uh, unicorn party for our second anniversary. We had 20 unicorns burning at one time here. Oh, wow. And that was pretty cool. So he keeps an eye over the shop for us. So he moves around place <laughs> to place. Great. That's so great. That's great. Kind of like the uh, elf on the shelf, but it's... Exactly. Uh, uh, we got a Sasquatch in the humidor. That's right. The Sasquatch <laughs> spottings. It's hiding. Sightings. Sightings. There, there we, we go. go. Well, um, since we're in the humidor and there's some cigars in here, Mm-hmm. Think we can uh, grab a stick and maybe sit down in the lounge car? Up, I yeah. want to see. I want to see that lounge car too. Oh yeah! But I got the uh, Roma Craft. I have Chromags. Are you open to Chromag? Uh, I'm open to anything. Um, Let's see here. The Aquatine Brule. I think I sold out of again, but this is one of their LE sizes. Oh nice! And I believe you to be a Lancero I fan. I am. You are. You you watch our shows. I do watch the show. So <laughs> you I like am. Lanceros? I like Lanceros. Yeah. I love them. I love Chrome Egg. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've had this one though. Oh, it's so that'll phenomenal. Be, that'll so. be that'll be interesting. Cool. Well, let's get these cut and lit and head to the lounge. Sounds great. Part of why Train Car Cigar Bar appeals to practically everyone is their impressive bar selection, and to my delight, they carry a special edition Macallan single malt that I knew would pair nicely with this Chrome Magnum. Oh wow! Yeah, look at the floor on this one. This is that's right. This is cool, isn't original it? Original so, train car. You got the big old nail spikes down on the ground there. We actually have a chunk of rail, so you can't have rail without having permission. We were told, so we had to get through the railroad twice to get a doorstop for each of our cars. That supposedly, if you have that, and they find out about it, and they, there's no record of why you have it, that's railroad property. Wow! So we actually had to get permission twice to get a chunk of railroad from a railroad official who brought it to us and. Wow. We've had a great relationship with the guys. The railroad's right behind us here. Yeah, cool, yeah. you so. can hear the trains go by every now and then. Oh, yeah. You've got enough room for a good amount of people. Oh, here. yeah. Bar stools around here, big tables here, chairs back this way, and your lockers. I was being pretty humble. I was hoping to get, you know, five or 10 locker holders. Right. When I got to 20 and there's only 29 available, I said, we got to figure this out. Wow. So I talked to my wife and we ordered a second set, had these built. They are both humidified. We've got lighters right. down here. I've got them on me. All right. So I didn't pick out a Nicaraguan Puro. I know you like Nicaraguan, but it does have Nicaraguan tobacco in it. Yeah, this Interesting. is... Interesting, it's got a broadleaf wrapper. Okay, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it's got a uh, Cameroon binder. Oh, wow. So, okay, so that's where the, a little bit of that sweetness is coming in, that Cameroon, because I'm noticing that. And then uh, I love Connecticut broadleaf wrappers, mm -hmm. but I'm noticing a little bit of sweetness in there. It's got some pepper on my lips. Um, but yeah, this is, that's nice. I had yeah, two of my main go-tos would be like a Cro-Magnon or a Neanderthal. I love Mexican San Andreas wrapper as well. I think it's the most underutilized space because this is, I mean, this is what I was dreaming about. Right. This, the patio is awesome. The drinks, uh, the drinks were my wife's idea. She said, it's too small of a town for just a cigar shop. And we know that. Mm. I talked to other people ahead of time. Yeah. I just was begging someone to open a shop. I would have quit my job and probably taken a 50% pay cut and managed <laughs> it. So lucky that didn't happen. Yeah. But we, we do get a lot of people coming through and they've seeked us out, which yeah. is really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's one that's one way, you know, we found you was um, 
a TV show. So when we start, when Ian and I sat down and, and started thinking about what we wanted to do for a cigar show, he comes back in one day and he shows me a clip from the Texas bucket list. And here's this guy with a cigar shop in a train car in Big Spring, Small Texas. Town, Texas. That's Texas. right. So you are the inspiration for the Texas Cigar Roadshow. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't hear the thank you, but I heard the yeah, thank you. Yeah, yes. Yeah, they were stopping in Big Spring on their way to the Pecos Rodeo to film the Pecos Rodeo. Hmm. And wherever they had stopped, uh, either at a gas station or something, it sounded like I think they had asked somebody, hey, is there anything we should check out while we're in town? Someone yeah. mentioned us, it was a Wednesday. So they came by and they said, hey, can we film an episode here? And we, my wife and I had just left. So our staff said, I think so, let, let, let me call the bosses. Yeah, yeah. So they called us, we're like, yes, we're turning around. And we turned around, we were driving straight Come, back. Definitely. And they got to meet our customers, do some interviews. We had trivia going on that night. They stayed through trivia. Cool. So trivia is on Wednesday nights and that still is going on. We're doing that. Okay, so, so you have some regular events that, yep. that, uh, that you have Wednesday night trivia night and then Weekends, I mean, it, cornhole doesn't go on every Not time. Not all the time, no. But, but we do have our own set of boards. Okay. And then uh, I did something fun that we've been doing, and it's the second Tuesday of every month. Okay. Called Blind Tuesdays. Okay. And so it's a picture of me with a big old beard ahead of the time and a blindfold with the train car logo over my eyes. And so it's a blind tasting, and so I'll go through it, I'll pull the bands off all the cigars. Yes. We'll smoke it. And like you, I'm not, I can't say everything. I can't tell you that this tastes like, you know, sun ripened raspberries on the eastern facing <laughs> porch of a veranda in Spain. I, yeah, I can't exactly, do that. Yeah. However, I, I know what I know and I know what I like. Yes. And it's fun to go through that with other people. And right. so a couple times now, I even let the staff pick out a cigar and pull the band off. And we do it actually paired with, an, with, a, with a beverage. Oh, nice. And so it's a, it's a flat rate. And then they get their choice of either, currently it's been either TX Bourbon uh, Glenfiddich 14, okay. or Ron Zacapa Solera 23 blended Guatemalan rum. Wow. That's a mouthful, but it's yeah. a delicious rum. Wow. It goes great with a cigar. Sounds, sounds great. You don't get too much more unique than having a shop in a train car. <laughs> I mean, um, do, you, do you like trains when you were a kid? Uh, I did, but it was it was definitely nothing with it. It's, it's a kind of a funny story. I. Uh, I wanted a cigar shop in Big Spring, Texas. Mm -hmm. There was a there was a little smoke shop here. There still is, but it uh, had a little like lounge area in back. And a good friend of mine that I had met, we would go there and smoke sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, one reason or other, it closed. I think people would not treat it well. Other other people, the uh, cigarette smoke. It was a head shop, so all the other people as well. Mm -hmm. So it closed, and so we had to drive 45, 50 miles to go to a cigar shop. Oh wow. And we said, we gotta have a shop here. Yeah. I mean, we just need a shop in our own town. Yeah. And so we started talking about that and dreaming about it. And then uh, I was a, I'm a Rotarian. We had a program who was speaking about an organization that is paid for by the city, but it's open to the public that uh, helps small businesses do a business plan, Great. work on um, marketing, whatever a business needs. So they put this together and he spoke at the, uh, the Rotary meeting. Mm -hmm. And he said, but no one's really using us. And so I reached out to my wife. I said, hey, we got to throw this guy a bone. Let's just show up. We're not going to actually do anything. Huh. And she, re re not reluctantly, but she agreed. But she knew that it was like going to a pet store and saying, we're not going to get a dog. <laughs> like, you know what's going to happen. You just don't know when. You're right. We went into it thinking it was a 10-year thing. Okay. Once we met with them, we thought it was a two-year thing, which is much faster. Right. Mind you, we had a three-month, four-month-old baby at the time. That's our third child. Wow. We have three kids. They're now 13, 8, and 4. Wow. And so it, was, it wasn't the right time to do it, that's for sure. Yeah. But it never is anything the right time. But when it works, you do it. Yeah. And so we just uh, started planning and started putting things down. And once you put something on paper, I need to do it more often because I know that when you do it, it works. Hmm. And if okay. we just would have talked about it, it never would have happened. But once we started planning and writing it down and putting it on paper, yeah. By the middle of that summer, we found, we just realized this is going to happen in six months. And it was this property. We were looking for downtown. We knew we wanted to be in the downtown area yeah. of Big Spring to help revitalize our downtown. Okay. So we were looking at different properties and we found out that we went to San Antonio for a Garth Brooks concert. Oh, and on yeah. our way back from the concert, we got a phone call that they called it the Boxcar Cafes are available. And we said, what's that? Oh, that was that coffee shop. I thought, I didn't know they were closed. Oh, wow. So we 
made an appointment for that Monday. We came down here to check it out. We walked through, we walked through the yellow caboose first, which is too small really for anything. Mm. After that, walked to the patio. The patio had non-fruit bearing pear trees all over it. So it was not user friendly. Right. The brick was uneven across the, w the way. It was not ADA compliant. Okay. We walked up into the bar car and thought that was all the interior space. Uh, and all the times we'd eaten or drink, yeah. we, just, we just never were seated in this area. Okay. And so then they said, let's go down to the other car. And we're like, there's more. More. And my wife, and we both had this little glint in our eye, like, oh wait, this might work. So they walk us down, unlock this door, we walk in. The walls are bright yellow and bright purple. There's polka dots and stripes. <laughs> and we're like, this is it. Yeah. And so we just, uh, we hit the ground running and yeah. we just started just pumping through it. So is your we wife said, up here working much or? She, she managed it for the first full year. Okay. And then as the kids are getting older, uh, our kids are out of school this year, they're homeschooling. So okay. she's, she's got a lot on her plate with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But she does the scheduling. She does a lot of the staff things I, I do as well. And um, so it's hit or miss when she gets to be in here as well. Cause usually one of the two of us is home with our kids. Right, so right, right. It always seems to be a juggling act. and. If I could have done anything differently, I might have said I'd wait till I retired because I had a full-time job and this was my plan for once I retired there. At that point, I was 10 years in, okay. I had a 20-year plan. Yeah. Well, two and a half years into this, I wound up putting in my notice and gave them a three-week notice, stayed three months, just making sure we got everything right and closed up all ends on that. Yeah. And then uh, this was, you know, our full-time employment, which was exciting. Yeah but scary because well, sure when when the, when if someone's not spending money yeah i'm not making you're not money. making money yeah. yeah what got you into cigars all right so i actually won a super bowl squares board off of an online forum and the site crashed and it didn't huh. come back and so i just thought i was out of luck yeah but the cigar community is some of the best people in the world and these guys started reaching out on other forums, looking for members, looking for addresses, looking for the winners, finding that. And then as a new site came up, they all pulled everyone together. And so I think I was supposed to get maybe 50 cigars. Mm -hmm. I had over 200 cigars show up and not everyone sent them. A lot of guys said, hey, I owe you five cigars. Here's a dozen. Okay. Here's 20. Yeah. Here's whatever. And so cigars were showing up in the mail like crazy. And I went from having a little Adirondack uh, desktop humidor. Yeah. I had to buy a CC300 from <laughs> New Air, uh, the, the, the cigar humidor. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, it opened up my world because before I would just go buy one or two cigars. Yeah. And I'd smoke them, you know, when I had them. Right. But all of a sudden, I had all sorts of things that I just couldn't even find. And I had to drive 45 minutes or longer to get to a shop. Yeah. So I did a little bit of online shopping as well. But quickly I decided I was a brick and mortar shopper and okay. I wanted to support brick and mortar shops. Yeah. I think that that's just important. Yeah, it is. Like that's, if I was going to drive to smoke at a shop, I was yeah. definitely going to buy my cigars from them. Yeah. But in general, I just thought that was a really important thing to do. And so, yeah, um, that's I mean, that's where it that's where all this happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do. I, you know, I've got my man cave I, and I, I occasionally I'll have some friends over there and I live outside city limits. so. I, I smoke by myself a lot, mm -hmm. but I, you know, to go to a cigar brick and mortar, that's that's where that's where it hap that's where it happens. Um, you're gonna make new friends. You're gonna find new cigars, and that's what I I love about cigar culture is, oh, you've never had this cigar? Here, dude. Here, I've got another one. Yep. Let me here. You got it. You got to try this, and they'll give you a cigar, you know, because. Just, I mean, just at a, at, that's just the way the culture works. It'll come back around. Somebody will give you one, but that's, I don't even think that's the reason why a lot of guys give a cigar away. It's just like, no, it's, that's just the culture. It's, it, there's, it's like no other to, to hand somebody a cigar and they go, Ooh, you know, uh, Oh, I, I haven't seen that one. Oh, yeah. What's this? Uh, I mean, cause I'll, I'll try most any cigar just to see if I'm going to like it or not. Now, I probably won't try a, an infused cigar. I mean, a flavored cigar. I probably won't try that because back when I first started, I did try them and I know what they're about and that's just not me. Yep. If that, I mean, if that's what somebody wants, then that that's fine. That's what they're there for. Um, it's kind of like that saying, you know, it's your cigar, you smoke it, you know, there's, there is some etiquette, but oh, yeah. come on, that's your cigar, you smoke it. Yep. But, uh, I like just, I mean, good tobacco. Exactly. Good tobacco, a good drink, and a good conversation. 
if there was one word to describe this place, relax. We've asked our customers, we've asked our staff, it's a place to relax. When there's a huge band going on, people yeah. are still relaxed. It's it's a relaxing place to be, yeah. even if you're you know, pumping energy with it, so, right, which is right. a really interesting thing. Uh, our tagline is casual social interaction at its finest. It's kind of funny. Uh, there's a group of guys I smoke cigars with on Monday nights called the Man Box. Okay. And a good friend of mine, Cody, we were talking about what we were going for. He said, so you're looking for like casual social interaction at its finest. And I was like, yes. And I like stopped the conversation and I texted that to my wife and I told him, you don't own the rights to that, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Luckily, he's never tried to collect, but I'll get him a cigar here. And there <laughs> there you go. Come and in. so that's what I love about cigars, that I yeah. think that cigars are one of the greatest equalizers. Yeah. And that what I tell people all the time when they're buying a cigar, or we're introducing them to that, is that it's like flipping an hourglass and buying back an hour of your life. That mm -hmm. if you were to light a cigarette or to even crack a beer and someone says, hey, let's get out of here. Yeah. You can mash that cigarette out. You can slam that beer. You can throw the beer away. It's, you know, a couple bucks. Right. Whether it's a $4 cigar or a $30 cigar, you're either going to not light it and cut it and light it. Yeah. Or once it's cut and lit, you've committed that time and that's your time. Yeah. And you own that time. Yeah. And that's yeah. one of the things I really, really fell in love with about cigars. Yeah. I'm um, reading a book you'd think is that way, but at any point yeah. you can just put that bookmark in your book. You can fold that dust jacket over and set it down. The cigar you got to relight it. It's not the same experience, and so exactly. yeah, it's it's a, it's tough to think. Uh, I got to leave, but I've got this much cigar left. Uh, no, I no. Yeah, I, I mean because that's your like you're saying that's your time. It is. This is this is what I've got to for for my time, and it's it. My wife is you know kind of laughed at me a little bit sometimes, and, and she understands. You go to events. You, you could be in here smoking a cigar, stuff's going on, everything's happening, and it's great. But when you're done with that, then I'll sit down and I'll enjoy my cigar. Yep. With exactly. my time, mm -hmm. with my drink, and then really relax. Exactly. Even though I've been smoking cigars all day, you know, yep. at an event or something like that, now I gotta relax. Exactly, that, that's what it's about. It's, yeah. it's all so about what relaxing. was that tag phrase, uh, phrase again? Casual social interaction at its finest. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. You got so many people going on. You've got a great train car here. You've got a great selection of cigars, which, you know, some people might think, little town, a big spring. I mean, what kind of cigars am I gonna find there? Uh -huh. But when you've got somebody on staff, like yourself, owner, uh, uh, that loves cigars, that went through and started with the small, like you said, and then branched out and started getting everything else, um, you, I mean, you're gonna be able to fit anybody's palate. Oh with yeah, that, with that uh, humidor that you have, and then the selection that you have on the on the bar. That's, I mean, I've got this is, I mean, that's a Scotch that's blended just for this year. Mm -hmm. um, that's it, and so I, I did not expect to see that, <laughs> and I saw it up there on the wall, and I thought, well, okay, but. Uh, this is, I mean, this has been fantastic. This is a, a great uh, car. I mean, just the look of it, the layout, plenty of room, and fantastic uh, person to meet. Well, thank you so that, much. Uh, I agree on that. Loves yeah, the cigars. I've, so I've enjoyed meeting you as yeah, well. If you are ever out this way, this is a definite stop that you have to make at the train car in Big Spring, Texas. Go and like Train Car Cigar Bar on social media. And if you're ever in the vicinity of Big Spring, I guarantee you'll like Train Car Cigar Bar in real life too. A Texas size thank you to Brent, his wife Camilla, and all the staff for treating us to some of the finest hospitality our state has to offer. Texas Cigar Roadshow is presented by the North Texas Cigar Society. Thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy the leaf, grow the culture.